What would happen if you combined the engine of a sports car with an avant-garde luxury 4x4? Nissan's Murano is the result, and it isn't a car lacking in road presence, character, or equipment, all of which you will need in an increasingly competitive 4x4 market. As a crossover SUV, it's biased very much towards road use, which is no bad thing, and the 3.5-litre V6 engine promises great performance if you can afford the running costs. Why have one thing when you can have elements of two melded together? That was the question Nissan's Murano posed to buyers of large 4x4s when it was launched in 2005. It was one of the first so-called crossover 4x4s. That's an industry term for an SUV with sleeker styling and more car-like driving manners. It had uh, sensational styling and uh, a characterful Rorty 3.5 litre V6 petrol engine from uh, Nissan's 350Z Sports Coupe. But the lack of a diesel option put some buyers off. The second generation version we're looking at here has the same ingredients, so there's still no diesel, but in a more practical, refined package with styling that's more of a, an, an acquired taste. Now, luxury SUV buyers who aren't badge conscious and who prioritise performance and comfort above all else are being targeted as potential buyers. Though this car is exceptionally refined, that's one of its main selling points, it's not so quiet that you can't enjoy listening to the wonderful 3.5 litre V6 motor on the frequent occasions when the CVT Xtronic automatic gearbox kicks down. The 256 PS power plant has a bit more to it these days and it now makes 60 from rest in uh, just 8 seconds on the way to a top speed of around 130 miles an hour. Now that's about as fast as you want to go in a luxury SUV of this type. 334 newton metres of torque mean that it should appeal also to towers who aren't too bothered about ongoing running costs. There's a satisfyingly sophisticated all-wheel drive setup, Nissan's intelligent all-mode 4x4i system, offering permanent four-wheel drive that diverts most of the power to the front wheels in normal use, but can push up to 50% of the power to uh, the wheels at the rear if conditions get really slippery, at which point you'll be thankful for the standard ESP stability control system. Now the power steering offers more feel than it did in the old car, with uh, more assistance at lower speeds and less at higher ones. Nissan is keen to stress that driving dynamics have been improved on this Mark II model with tweaks to the suspension and a much stiffer platform and more resistance to lateral roll and twisting forces. Despite this and that sports car engine though, don't run away with the idea that this is one of those luxury 4x4s like BMW's X5 that you can throw around the lanes a bit. It's much more comfortable on the motorway and the ride only comes into its own at higher speeds. Now I'm not a fan of the Mark II model's restyle front end, but the original Murano's curvy, almost coupe style looks are carried over in second generation guys. As before, it's a five seat only body style without a hugely spacious boot, 402 litres. Still, at least you can have great fun accessing the space that is available via the split folding rear seats um, using the electric seat folding mechanism. Now you fold the seats down using these conventional levers in the boot or they're also pull ties on the squabs themselves. Then you can impress your friends by raising them again using the electric mechanism that's accessible via these buttons just under the dashboard here. In fact, gadget lovers will feel more at home in this Nissan than just about in any car I can think of. There's a powered tailgate which opens and shuts respectively in seven and nine seconds. But the award for cleverest gadget, I think, goes for the camera that's concealed in the front passenger door mirror. At speeds of up to 12 miles an hour, it transmits a picture onto the seven inch uh, sat nav colour screen on the dashboard showing the proximity of walls, rocks or other easily obscured obstacles. Gadgets of course don't necessarily create an upmarket feel but this Murano certainly feels nicer to sit in than its predecessor and there's enough knobs and buttons to keep you busy with the instruction manual for hours. There's an enormous dual panel glass sunroof 
but if you aren't bothered with that and you'd rather have a, um, a DVD, roof-mounted DVD player instead, then that's available too. You'll pay about £32,000 for this car. Other potential rivals include Volkswagen's Touareg in petrol form and Jeep's Grand Cherokee perhaps. Both of those are better off-road but not quite so luxury saloon-like. The Murano sits in the lowest tier of luxury 4x4 ownership. These days you need a lottery win for a Range Rover or a top Porsche Cayenne and a considerable sum for a car like a Mercedes M-Class or a, a BMW X5. In contrast, a Murano and its most obvious rivals can be yours for about the same amount that you'd pay for the plushest versions of, of compact 4x4s, cars like BMW's X3 or Audi's Q5. Now it's a pity that for the UK market, uh, Nissan only offers the Murano in V6 petrol form, but that's a legacy of the small numbers it will sell in, uniqueness that brings its own appeal. The clever Xtronic automatic gearbox features ASC shift control to keep uh, fuel consumption in check, but you'll still only manage about 25.9 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle. Still, at least the CO2 showing of 261 grams per kilometre is a substantial improvement on the old model. Uh, insurance grouping at 16 isn't bad, considering the uh, performance and equipment on offer. And uh, after three years of ownership, this Murano should retain just over 50% of its original value, which is pretty good compared to other 4x4s in the same bracket. The idea of merging a sports car with a fashionable luxury SUV is an undeniably appealing one, even if it is out of step with these gloomy, eco-conscious times. In pursuing it, the Murano is a breath of fresh air in a market whose products seem increasingly preoccupied with trying to be something that they're not. If you're not badge conscious or running costs obsessed, like the styling and want a luxury 4x4 for high mileage road use, then you'll love the charismatic engine, the performance and the clever gadgets. And you'll be one of a, a small but select group of probably very satisfied buyers. Mm -hmm.